Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today I have another OptiRough video. I'll try to make this one as fast and uh, easy as possible to understand. So, I'll just get right into it. So here's the part. And we want to use one toolpath to do all the roughing on this part instead of having a bunch of like contours and dynamic mills and all that. We just want one tool, one toolpath, and we wanted to just go like really fast and keep it simple. So go to OptiRough. Okay. And we will select entities. Perfect. Change this to we'll leave ten. Leave 10 there. So it's going to rough everything and leave 10. Toolpath control. So basically, we're just going to use our boundary right here. This is our stock. And we set that up in the stock setup. So we're just going to use that boundary. Next, we're going to use select the library tool. We'll just create a tool real quick. We use half inch end mill, okay, overall length, five, cutting length. We'll, try, we'll make this a extended length, extended cut end mill. Um, shoulder length, three inches, zero point four eight five. You guys are probably familiar with this. And then we'll just type in some speeds and feeds to get us going. 100, 100, 100, 100, 10, just be safe there. 7,500, okay. Now, cut parameters. Step over, we won't start that crazy because this is not that rigid of an end mill. Okay. Step down, half inch, that's fine. So it's gonna step over a 70 thou radially and down in Z half an inch. So that's good. Maximum depth. We will just select it. Two inches. Okay. So we probably could use a shorter end mill, but whatever, this is just to show you, you guys how to get it going. Turn the coolant on. Now, it's creating that toolpath. And hopefully what it does is go around the outside, dynamic all the stock out, do all the, yeah, it's doing that. So that's the OptiRough toolpath. It's like my favorite toolpath to use when roughing a part and you kind of just have to be really fast programming and the program itself has to be fast. Now I always use verify to make sure the tool isn't gouging into this part or doing anything crazy. So, 70 thou step over, half inch down. And we'll just let it play. Go a little bit faster. So this first part looks very familiar to like a dynamic path. Now it's going to bore down, nice helix bore, and now it's going to pocket out that first pocket. So, so far we have a dynamic toolpath and a pocket routine all in the same 
toolpath. And we, we programmed that toolpath in like, what was that, five minutes? So that was pretty quick. Okay, so now it's doing those holes. It's going on the outside, and you'll see that it goes by depth. So it's not going to take everything, one one section all the way down to two inches. It's going to do everything uh, a half inch down at a time. Just like we told it to. So now it's going down the next depth. Now it's contouring around or dynamicing. Turn on verify. Awesome. And just like that, our entire part is roughed within 10 thou. So, uh, if you guys like this video, subscribe and like, and uh, be on the lookout for more videos. We'll see you later. Thanks.